Have you ever found yourself staring up at the night sky, wondering just how vast and mysterious the universe really is? I mean, it's a question that has captivated humanity for centuries. And amidst all those twinkling stars, there's a burning question that keeps coming up. Can we actually travel at the speed of light? It's a tantalizing idea, isn't it? The very notion of zipping across the cosmos at 186,082 miles per second, visiting distant galaxies, and maybe even encountering aliens along the way. But let's dive into this idea and see what the science really says. First, we need to understand what traveling at the speed of light really means. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, as you get closer to the speed of light, things start to get weird. Time, for instance, behaves differently. If you were to travel at light speed, time would essentially stop for you. Imagine that. You could zip around the universe, and when you return to Earth, everyone would have aged while you hadn't. It's like the ultimate time travel scenario. But here's the kicker. As you approach light speed, your mass increases, requiring more and more energy to continue accelerating. And by the time you hit the speed of light, well, it would take an infinite amount of energy, which, let's be honest, is a bit of a problem. Now, let's break this down a little further. We often see light as this magical force that travels effortlessly through space. But it's not just a matter of flipping a switch and zooming off. For starters, we're bound by the laws of physics as we know them. Everything we understand about motion, energy, and mass is rooted in these laws. So, when we talk about light speed travel, we're not just talking about hopping into a spaceship and hitting the gas pedal. We're talking about redefining our understanding of the universe. But what if we could bend the rules? In recent years, scientists have floated some fascinating concepts. One of the most talked about ideas is the concept of a warp drive. Think of it like this. Instead of traveling through space, what if we could manipulate space itself? The theory suggests that by contracting space in front of a spacecraft and expanding it behind, we could effectively create a bubble that moves faster than light. Sounds like science fiction, right? But researchers like Miguel Alcubierre have proposed mathematical models that suggest it's theoretically possible. It's like creating a cosmic roller coaster that lets you ride the waves of space-time. How cool is that? Of course, there are challenges. For starters, we'd need a form of energy that we don't yet have. Some speculate we'd need negative energy or exotic matter, which, spoiler alert, we haven't found yet. And even if we did, there's the whole issue of stability. Would our warp bubble hold together? Would we end up in a different universe altogether? It's a wild ride of possibilities, and while it's exciting to think about, it's also a reminder of how much we still don't know. And let's not forget about the practical side of things. Even if we could figure out how to travel at light speed, what would that mean for us? Imagine the implications for communication, exploration, and even the very fabric of society. Would we still feel connected to our home planet if we could hop to distant galaxies in the blink of an eye? Or would we lose that sense of belonging? It's a profound question, one that goes beyond science and taps into the very essence of what it means to be human. Now, let's take a step back and consider our current capabilities. Right now, the fastest human-made object is the Parker Solar Probe, which can travel at speeds of about 430,000 miles per hour. That's impressive, right? But it's still a far cry from light speed. And while we're making strides in space exploration, we're still confined to our solar system. The nearest star, Proxima Centauri, is about 4.224 light-years away. At our current speeds, it would take tens of thousands of years to get there. It's mind-boggling to think about how much time we'd need to invest just to visit our cosmic neighbors. But let's not get discouraged. The pursuit of knowledge and understanding is what drives us as a species. Every leap we make in technology and science brings us closer to uncovering the mysteries of the universe. And while we might not be able to travel at the speed of light just yet, the journey itself is what matters. Each discovery, each breakthrough, adds another piece to the puzzle. And who knows? Maybe one day, we'll find a way to break those cosmic barriers. In the meantime, we can embrace our curiosity and wonder. 
we can look up at the stars and dream of what lies beyond, knowing that every question we ask brings us one step closer to the answers. So, the next time you find yourself pondering the possibilities of light speed travel, remember that the journey is just as important as the destination. And while we may not be zipping across the universe just yet, the adventure of exploration and discovery is a journey worth taking. After all, isn't that what being human is all about?